Our universe is incredibly vast. If we were to search for another planet like Earth in a different galaxy, it would take an impossibly long time to reach there, even with the fastest spacecraft. The closest galaxy to us, the Andromeda Galaxy, is about 2.5 million light years away. It means even if we travel at the speed of light, it would still take millions of years to get there. However, there's a fascinating idea called wormholes. These are shortcuts in space that could potentially allow us to travel quickly to distant parts of the universe. If we could find and use these wormholes, we might be able to explore faraway galaxies in just a few months. It's a very exciting concept that could change our perspective on space travel. Recently, scientists used a special kind of computer called a quantum computer to create them. With these wormholes, we can send information from one place to another instantly. Also, they are trying to connect two big ideas in physics called quantum physics and the theory of relativity. Now, my friends, let's start this story in the year 1930. During that time, Einstein's theory of relativity was very well known and made him quite famous. Because of this, scientists from all over the world had to collaborate with Einstein. This story is about a time when Einstein's theory of relativity was very popular and he was famous for it. However, during that time, a new branch of physics called quantum mechanics emerged. This new branch challenged some of Einstein's ideas, especially the concept of quantum entanglement, which suggested that particles could be connected in a way that information could travel faster than light. This caused a bit of a conflict, and Einstein didn't back down from the challenge. He was always ready to face new ideas and questions throughout his life's work. Albert Einstein met a scientist named Boris Podolsky, and together they published a paper introducing a new idea called the EPR. Einstein-Podolsky-Rosen paradox. In this paper, they described a thought experiment where they showed that if two particles are connected in a special way, entangled, and then separated, observing one particle could reveal information about the other particle's position and momentum instantly, no matter how far apart they are. This seemed to challenge some ideas in quantum mechanics. Einstein used this paradox to question the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics, which says we can't know both the exact position and momentum of a particle at the same time. He argued that if quantum mechanics allowed information to travel faster than light, then why couldn't we know both position and momentum together? In 1935, Sir Albert Einstein and his assistant Nathan Rosen published a research paper. They wanted to apply Einstein's general theory of relativity to the entire universe, removing the limitations of space, time, and gravity. The general theory of relativity solved many physics problems and had various real-world uses. It changed our understanding of how space and gravity work together. Despite attempts to disprove it, the theory has always been correct. However, it doesn't fit into the quantum world. In their paper, Einstein and Rosen imagined a curve in space-time called the Einstein-Rosen bridge, or wormhole. This curve could transfer information between two distant points faster than light. They were trying to explain a phenomenon called quantum entanglement. In quantum mechanics, particles can be connected even when they are far apart. If we measure one particle, instant changes can happen to another particle, no matter the distance between them. After 49 years of Einstein's death, a physicist named Leonard Susskind read two papers carefully and found that they both talk about the same thing, but from different perspectives. They talk about something called a wormhole, which is like a special tunnel that can transport things from one place to another instantly. It's not like a physical object, but more like a way of carrying information about how things are arranged. This idea is similar to something called quantum entanglement, where two particles are connected in a way that changing one particle's properties also changes the other particle's properties. Leonard realized that if we can use quantum entanglement to move a particle from one place to another, it would prove the existence of a wormhole. This discovery excited scientists, and they started working on creating an artificial wormhole in the lab. A physics professor at Harvard named Daniel Jafferis designed a way to create a wormhole using a powerful quantum computer. To test this idea, a physicist named Maria Spiropoulou and her team went to Google, 
where they have a super powerful quantum computer called Sycamore. Quantum computers are very different from regular computers and can do some incredible things. Sycamore, for example, can do in 200 seconds what a normal computer would take 10,000 years to do. Maria and her team wanted to see if they could create a stable wormhole using this quantum computer. They wanted to connect two particles or bits that were far apart instantly. They used a quantum computer, which has qubits or quantum bits on its left and right sides. They entangled the qubits on both sides, means that the first qubit on the left side is entangled with the first qubit on the right side, and so on for all qubits, making them linked to each other. Now, the scientists brought a new qubit, the eighth qubit, near the first qubit on the left side. When this was done, the information was transferred to the other seven qubits, and the eighth qubit was positioned at the center of the wormhole. They needed negative energy to stabilize the wormhole. In order to stabilize the wormhole, they reversed the spins of all seven qubits on the left side to create a negative pulse. As a result, the eighth qubit traveled to the right side instantaneously. They repeated a similar process for the left side as well. This experiment helps us understand how particles can be connected over long distances using a strange concept called quantum entanglement. It's like creating a bridge in space through quantum mechanics. Scientists hope it will help them understand more about quantum mechanics and space. Wormholes are still a mystery, but our curiosity and desire to explore will keep pushing science forward to uncover the secrets of space. So, keep looking up at the stars and dreaming big. If you enjoyed the video just now, you might also like the video about Quantum World. If you have already watched that one, I have prepared a complete playlist with various videos on space-related topics. You can click here to explore them. Thank you very much.